raising taxes, um, which at when every community meeting I've been to this month, I've told them that, and there's a big range of applause there, and I think it's important for our community uh, to know that this budget is addressing many, many problems, but we are not raising taxes, and I think that's an important point. Um, I just wanted to allude to a few um, things in this uh, budget that I really think we should be proud of. One, as Council Member Rice has said, we're um, building on our really groundbreaking educational commitment that we established last year, where we did raise taxes to support our educational system. We raised recordation tax over some, um, with some dismay in some parties uh, to support school facilities, and it's paying off. And we're continue, uh, and that set the ground um, ground rules for this year. And um, I'm very pleased with what we've been able to do with the uh, uh, MCPS budget. Um, I wanted to emphasize uh, what we're doing about the Parks Department and the Recreation Departments. Of course, they're separate, but we're doing a lot within this budget for them. They were hard hit during the recession. We continue to bring back some aspects of their budgets to pre-recession levels and to enhance and expand some of the facilities and services that residents enjoy most. Um, I'll just remind everyone, we've increased funding for catching up on deferred maintenance there, cleaning and enhancing ball fields and expansing, expanding park facilities and trail systems. On the capital side of the budget, we kept the North Branch Trail and the little Bennett Day Use area of projects on schedule, which is really great news for the neighboring communities, and those are the ones that have grown the most rapidly in the past few years. And I'm also very pleased that we managed to avoid delaying the Ovid, Hayes, and Wells recreational project, including uh, the rec relocation of the carousel from Wheaton Regional Park to Ovid, Hayes, and Wells Park, thereby fulfilling long-standing, and I mean long-standing uh, commitments uh, to the residents of Clarksburg, not just the more recent arrivals, but the people who were involved in the uh, creation of that carousel uh, many, many years ago. And um, it's been really nice to see uh, the park's advocacy uh, team out there. And, and I, while I'm at that point, I want to say, apart from expressing uh, my very deep appreciation to all our staff on this budget, you know, no one has any idea of how hard they work uh, during this uh, month-long effort. It is huge. Uh, as Mr. Orland said, not only was uh, uh, council, uh, kind of executive staff here on Mother's Day, but I guess Glenn, Greg, uh, Glenn was here too, and I suspect other people have been working around the clock uh, to crunch the numbers for us. Um, but the other thing that I'm really proud of, and I want to thank Councilmember Navarro uh, for, is our teamwork on the, the Dream Academy. Uh, we've added a new site over and above what the county executive recommended, and uh, we've added more days. Uh, so now we're going to have uh, four uh, Dream Academies um, associated with important um, needs within the, the county, and we will have extended days of full week at three of them. And, of course, Councilmember Reamer has been interested in this, and we were able to uh, make some really, really uh, good improvements there, and so I'm really pleased about that. And then finally, you know, uh, we've had quite a debate ab about Route 29, uh, BRT there over the past uh, month or two, uh, but we have responded to community requests here, um, and that wasn't so simple in adding additional bus service on Route 29. Uh, that was directly in response to what we heard from the community. So I think uh, this whole effort has been um, a team effort from every portion of the, all the people in this room, many, many people outside this room. Um, and um, I'm very grateful to everyone for helping us do the right thing this year. Thank you.